Auto enrolment and pension freedoms have changed the pensions landscape. Member expectation has shifted and ensuring members' needs will continue to be met is getting harder. Origo is a not-for-profit industry body that has taken on the challenge of connecting organisations while enabling smoother, faster and compliant data movement. Like travelling with luggage, people want to be able to move their pension securely from place to place. The introduction of automatic enrolment and pensions freedoms are putting more pressures on data movement within the industry. The contents of these suitcases, like pensions data, needs to move with an individual for job to job. Research commissioned by the Department for Work and Pensions has found that on average people have 11 employers during their working lifetime. That's 11 pensions or 11 suitcases and the plethora of information that's contained within them. So automatic enrolment has meant that many people have gone into pension schemes for the first time. Over their career they're going to start to accumulate relatively small pension pots in multiple pension schemes and that therefore may lead to an increased demand to actually transfer the pension into their latest current pension. Origo, the not-for-profit organisation, is responsible for delivering and managing a pension transfer system for the pension industry, which has removed paperwork from the process, automating it, making it much simpler and quicker. Pensions providers who'd previously been working in silos asked Origo to create a model to solve the problems of pensions transfers. They expect to be able to move bank account seamlessly and quickly. They expect to be able to pick a utility provider and, and have that move really quickly. So their expectations are going to be exactly the same um, for those of us working in financial services and in, in pensions. They expect it all to happen seamlessly, quickly and, and get a quality service. Origo's options transfers service already has 85 brands using it. Prior to the launch of the service, it took an average of five to ten weeks to process. Transfers now average between six to 11 days and in some cases can take just minutes to go through the system. It's a bit like trying to move data from point A to point B. If there's just two parties involved, they can sort that out themselves. But as soon as you start introducing third party or a fourth party or a fifth party, the complications start to grow exponentially and it's much easier to put a black box in the middle that can take care of all that complication so that everybody's just one place to link to. They can build their system using one language, if you like, with one link, and that black box in the middle can then distribute the data to all the necessary places. There's still a stringent process which needs to be followed correctly, and trustees who sign off on transfers are expected to do due diligence to protect members from fraud and scams. So far, £85 billion has been transferred via the option system since its introduction in 2008. In the future, people are expected to end up with multiple pensions and with multiple sets of data. The government wants consumers to be able to access all of this information in one place by 2019. The standardisation helps on the basis that you get one question asked and multiple answers from the appropriate companies that are holding existing assets for a policyholder. And that means that it's a one and done, which clearly by itself is as efficient as something can become. Origo plans to assist with a new service, the implementation of a pensions dashboard, where customers can see all their pension schemes and entitlements grouped together online. Origo has been part of the pensions industry for the last 27 years, and it says it's central to data movement, regardless of what that movement is. The freedom to enable consumers to do what they want with their pensions brings its own challenges, which Origo says it's helping to solve for both today's savers and tomorrow's customers.